Kelsey and Jake Bang here. We're back for another Disney video on Shanghai Disneyland. And today we're gonna walk through where to eat at Shanghai Disneyland. Especially being Americans going to Shanghai and understanding that there's definitely different food tastes and cultural differences. We wanna talk through some of the places that we loved. One thing I wanted to bring up is you actually can bring food into the park. So like other Disneyland parks, you can bring your own food into the parks. They do have, which I wish every Disney park had. Like dedicated picnic areas is the only way yeah, I, can, yeah. I can think of it. And they where, were huge. Including huge. even tents if you wanted to get out of the sun that had little benches and tables within them. Yeah, there was tons of shaded area in the grass. Big grass areas. Oh, it was awesome. Especially when we got a little tired and we just wanted to wind down. Yeah, it's it was, awesome. It but you so can cool. pack lunches, put them in your stroller or backpack or whatever and go eat that way and it's just a super, super nice option. Shanghai Disneyland also has a meal plan coupon option. It doesn't work for all of the food places, and so we ended up not doing it because a couple places that we wanted to go, it just ended up not or working faster, out. faster, quicker food, not just sit down, and so yeah. Yeah, but it, there is an option for that if that is something that you like to do. Just know there is that option. Now we're gonna dive into a couple of our favorite places that we like to eat. And one of them that I really liked was where you could get Donald Duck waffles. If you're walking down Mickey Avenue, it's on to your left. Mickey Avenue is like Shanghai Disneyland's Main, Main street. street. And when you turn the corner on Mickey Avenue over to the left, you'll it, see. It's called Il Paparino, which I think is Italian for the duck. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but there it is. There, the line usually gets pretty long, but it goes super fast because they have a ton of waffle makers and they're like hauling there. And it's super cute. You can also get a Mickey waffle there, but something that they do is they do like a seasonal ice cream. And when we were there, it was a cherry blossom, cherry blossom time frame. And so mm -hmm. cherry blossom flavored ice cream that you could get on top. Yes. Or you could just get it separate. Yeah, so we got it on this side and it was cute because they put like a little Stella Lou in it and it was super cute with her little ears and stuff. But we didn't love the flavor of the ice cream and they don't have syrup. They serve it with the ice cream, not the syrup. But sometimes they have like vanilla and you could ask for that too. But they had a waffle that I really liked and it was a ham and cheese waffle. <laughs> was that the one with corn? Yeah, I saw it, it was like a ham and cheese waffle and I was like, that sounds fun. So I ordered that and so it looks like the regular Donald waffle and then when you open it up, inside it has like little ham squares and corn. Like all baked into the waffle. And then got a, like a nacho cheese cup and then you dipped the waffle in there. It's and a very unique, unique taste, unique flavor. I really liked it, it a lot, yeah. it was super good. So I definitely recommend the ham and cheese waffle, the Donald waffle. So that was super fun. The next place I want to talk about is somewhere that wasn't on our radar. We haven't seen anyone talk about it. And the smell drove us in. And totally Jake us in the, yeah. loves kimchi. I'm not a kimchi fan because I've nearly never had it. And so... And I don't love this. I mean, the smell of kimchi is really strong. It's, it's a like, good smell over there, though. But, this place is called Piranha Bites. You can find it over an adventure aisle right across from Camp Discovery. So you can go do some challenge trails and then come back and have and a beef kimchi wrap. An amazing kimchi wrap. It is so good. We loved it so much. We kept going back every day because it was so good. And for us, an American style of like, hey, we want to eat on the go. This was a perfect thing to just quickly get and you could eat it while you're going to the next ride. Yeah. They also had a really good teriyaki chicken wrap that was really, I liked it a lot, but the kimchi beef wrap was just super, super good. Next up is over in Fantasyland. It's Pinocchio's Village Kitchen, not Haas, not <laughs> like it is in the <laughs> States. And here you can find a variety of foods. They have Mickey shaped pizzas, which I like. They have a lot of different traditional dishes. We got an eel and rice dish that I really liked. It had the bone in it though, so I had, you know, have to learn how to pick those out. I'm not super familiar. <laughs> I, I usually have bone out, so that was, but it, sa it warns you on there. It says bones are in there. Are in. Yeah, and it says in English too. But the one thing that we didn't have and we should have and we heard great things about is the Peking duck pizza that yes, they have there. Yes, we got a Mickey pizza and we didn't know till after that we were supposed to get the duck version, but the pizzas are really good. You can also get really fun alien shaped pizzas over in Toy Story Land. So that's fun. So if you want pizza, they have a couple different options. It's just not gonna be your American pizza. Yeah, it's not your traditional American pizza. It looks like it, but it has a different flavor, but it's good. 
like we've gotten it there in Hong Kong and I feel like it was similar and both good at both places. Yep, so pizza is good. Yeah. Also at Pinocchio's Village Kitchen, you can get the Shelly May Panna Cotta. They also had it in a Mickey Mouse form and different other characters when we were there. And they are super, super They're cute. Really tasty the too. flavors, I feel like, aren't super strong on it. They're kind of just like a jello of some sorts. Yeah. But I, li I liked it, yeah. Yeah, but it was super fun to try, and I really liked it. And it's just a really, really cute food. So I would say it's worth a try. The thing that I liked about this restaurant as well is they had a little outdoor seating area where we got a little bit away from some of the crowds. And it was actually like right next to the cat. Like the beautiful. castle's like right there. You have an amazing view of like. Just the, the castle and all the, the neighboring grounds. It was awesome. Yeah, it's a really great spot. Yeah, that's a good tip is going to the outdoor eatery at Pinocchio's Village Kitchen. So, yeah, that's a good spot for sure. You can also get the panna cotta at Mickey and Pal's Market and at Remy's Patisserie. We should talk about Remy's Patisserie. Okay, Remy's Patisserie. <laughs> we... I don't Wait, know. There's we, so many times. I can't count. I know, but I feel like the first day we didn't because we didn't know about it. Well, we did it we because we've gotten baked goods from our hotel. And so we did know about Remy's Patisserie because I wanted to go there because I knew that they had a Mike Wazowski bread that looks like Mike. And I was like, I really wanted it. And we did have similar, they did have similar donuts at the hotel. I remember that they had there. And by donuts, just imagine a less sweet, larger size, more breaded donut, but it was still just a Mickey donut and it was amazing. Yeah, so at Remy's Patisserie, you can find baked goods and also they have crepes. They have savory and sweet crepes, which is really fun. Jake tried the Shanghai crepe, which was full of a lot of different fun things. I think it had some sort of either fish or dried shrimp or something like that, but it was really super tasty. And Jake I actually loved liked it. it. I was not a fan, but I did love the Nutella and banana crepe. That I mean, was who killer. But I loved it because they also put like chocolate ice cream in it and they made it like a Mickey shape. Like all the details there, I feel like with the food, they go all out. They just do all the details with Mickey food there. They, and just in the fruit and all the little di different aspects and stuff. It's super fun. So you can constantly find like hidden Mickeys in your food. And at Remy's Patisserie, they also have a full bakery and the chocolate muffins, the blueberry muffins, those are delicious. And it's fun because they're like muffin tops and they're in Mickey shape and it's just really yummy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jake had gotten a couple donuts there. And like you mentioned, they don't have, the, they're not like an American donut where it's like fried it's and not super sweet, tons of frosting. And yeah, these ones are just like lightly coated and they're beautiful. And they're just like a slight sweet bread is more how I describe yeah. it. Yeah. Sweet bread. But at Ruby's Patisserie, there is something you've got to try and it is the bunny hot dog. <laughs> Literally, it's probably that and the kimchi wrap. And one other thing we're gonna talk about are my favorite things that I ate at Shanghai Disneyland. It's a little hot dog in a bunny shaped roll. And it's like a sweet bread and it's just fantastic. The, the hot dog was just like, maybe it was, maybe it was cooked in some sort of sauce. I don't know, but it was just really It was just really good. good. It was just simple and delicious and it looked like a bunny. A cute bunny. And so it was really good. Just get it. Just trust me on it, just get it. Something that's super fun around Shanghai Disneyland is all the popcorn stands. Popcorn buckets are huge there, and so they have lots of fun different popcorn buckets, but it's fun because they have lots, lots of, different of different popcorn flavors. flavors. So we were boring and just got caramel, <laughs> but, <laughs> but they it was also delicious. Had red flavor and green flavor, and actually I don't know <laughs> which ones they would be, maybe berries or... Yeah, they have strawberry. I saw that they had steak flavor popcorn. I mean, they have different seasonal flavors that they're constantly rotating out. So make sure to check out the popcorn stands and see. And those are spread out throughout the park, the park and different areas and stuff. But those are really fun to grab a popcorn, go hang out in the grass and enjoy. Another snack I wanted to mention that I really enjoyed. I saw a bunch of people walking around with this corn. And I was like, I gotta see what this is. <laughs> so they basically take a grilled corn, mm -hmm. corn on the cob. And they kind put of put it, stick. they put it, yeah. And they put it, something in some sauce to stick to some cheese. And then they sprinkle bacon on top of it. It's fantastic. And you kind of, you know, you just gnaw on it and you get all these fun flavors. I, maybe it was mayo, maybe it was some sauce. I don't know what, something holds it all together, but it was amazing. It was so good. And it was super funny because it came with this little like 
baggie of some th sorts and I didn't figure out what it was till after it was gloves so you don't have to get your hands dirty and it also had a wet wipe in it too so you can put your gloves on and eat your you corn eat it without getting messy yeah and also when we got the crepes too they had also given us gloves and stuff there so if they give you like a little it's really tiny and it's just clear little plastic yeah if you open it it's plastic gloves in there so that you can not get your hands messy while you eat which is actually super cool one of our favorite experiences that we had at Shanghai Disneyland was doing a character dining at the castle at the Royal Banquet Hall. And this is the only place within the park where you can actually have character dining. Uh -huh. And it's within the castle. So there's like, I mean, there's obviously the attraction of the castle. There's the grotto under the castle. But like, and there's also room for this restaurant in the castle. And it you're visited. epic. For the Royal Banquet Hall, I recommend getting reservations. We didn't get them in advance. We just made them the day like of. The day yeah. Earlier on within the day. Yeah, we had just gone that morning and saw, oh, what's the availability and then made plans. Or, you know, if you're there for a few days, you could plan it out and stuff. But just make sure to run there first to get reservations because it is so, so worth it. It's a three course meal and you get to pick your different items. But as you walk into the castle, it's super cool because you're greeted there with her first character meet and greet. And we got to see Minnie there. In her princess outfit. It was so cute. She had this beautiful pink gown on and a hat. And I mean, she spent like a good five minutes with us and it just felt so magical. And it was just so much fun. It's the Royal Banquet Hall. You go up, up the, the stairs. stairs into the, the <laughs> the higher whatever areas of the castle. Yes, to the banquet hall. Yeah. Yeah, and it's super cool because as you go up the stairs, you'll see they have their own restrooms there. So just know that there's restrooms there. And then you go into the banquet hall and they seat you. And it's super fun. Like they put like a napkin on your lap and it, they, if you want tea, they'll get you tea or yeah, water the tea and... or whatever you want. I got a, a strawberry shake. That was not part of the meal, but it was a fun addition. I really liked that. But you have your appetizers, entrees and desserts. And so we picked different things. Just because we wanted to try different foods and, and make sure. And, what, and it was so much food. It the, was a lot. The part that I love too is the menus actually have pictures of the food. So mm -hmm. you don't, and you know, obviously English and Chinese, so you know what you're getting yourself into. And but, the great thing is it's all like one price. Like it's the same price for every person that you go. I think kids are probably a different price, but it just all, so you can order anything on the menu and it's all going to be under the same price, which is cool. Yep. And as you're there, obviously enjoying your meal, there every once in a while will be an announcement, some fanfare of some sort, yeah. and then all of a sudden, Royal Mickey appears, or Royal Donald, and they come by, and they stop by all the tables, they greet you, they say hi, they let you take photos with them, and they okay. even played off each other. Yeah, one of the most magical moments we had was Daisy and Donald were both coming from each side, and then they greeted and like gave each other a hug. And, and they were just like being so affectionate to each other, and just, it was, it was so awesome. Cute. It was so, so cute. But the food there was super good. You also can get some super traditional dishes there, unique to the area. And so Jake had gotten a couple of those and they were definitely not what we're used to, but they were so fun to try. It was fun to try. I think one of them was like a sweetened lotus flower. Yeah. I didn't know what it was when I was eating it, but since I, since then, I think I found out what it was. But it had like some cute Mickey shapes and stuff on it. So I'm like, let's try it. Yeah. But I had got the, there was a curry a and a Cinderella curry. pumpkin. And that was amazing. It was incredible like indian food is one of my favorite types of food and i have had a lot of curries in my life and that one was so so good and it's just so cute like eating out of a pumpkin and you got the bratwurst for your entree yeah and the bratwurst are really good too with some sauerkraut and, and mustard and yeah it was good and then for dessert we got fruit and then we also got an olaf little ice cream and those were both great too that whole experience was just hands down like one of my favorite moments because you're just immersed with everything going on and you're in the castle and it's just worth every penny i'd recommend it they also did have an uh, an additional you could upsell and, mm. and pay a little bit extra to actually get as soon as your meal's done you could go out and get some reserved seating for the the fireworks show the evening fireworks show as well we opted out of yeah. that because i think we just wanted to go 
play and have fun and go yeah. do more rides. But looking back though, I wish I would have though because the crowds are insane insane for the fireworks show and it is just like backed up and anywhere you go you can have a good view because the castle is ginormous but i right. think that would have been fun to do but yeah to get we're some just feeling short seeing. on time you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a wrap on all of our shanghai disneyland eats there are tons of fun places to go and explore there i can't wait to go back again someday and yeah. go try more foods there but these were all the things that we tried and liked and thought were worth going to thanks so much for joining us on this video where we talk about our best and funnest places to eat food at Shanghai Disneyland. Make sure to subscribe and sign up for notifications so you can learn and be part of the fun. We have lots more Shanghai Disneyland videos coming. Stay tuned. See ya.